What is going on gamers? My name is Roxas Quack and I'm the regular gamer of course and today we're going to be playing some Mass Effect 1 once again with the beautiful and fabulous Shepard as always. Uh, the last episode was quite long, this one's going to be a bit more usual so we're going to stick to roughly an hour this time. However, I have no clue what we're actually going to do. Um, as far as I'm aware, I've talked to Caden and Ashley, so maybe I should run down here and speak to Grunt real quick. Let's get a little introduction with everybody. I don't even think I spoke to either of them. Caden? Ashley? Nope. I got Caden over in the mess hall. Chakwaz. Uh, no. Let's start from the bottom and make our way up. It's like my most preferred way to do this. Sorry, Chakwaz. I'll talk in a little bit. Going down. Yeah, council disagreements, last episode. That was quite a long one. I'm glad that it got out of the way. I don't think anybody's going to watch it to the fullest length, but if you've never seen the council or anything to do with the Citadel, I do hope you enjoyed. This episode should be a little bit more action-paced. Um, as I say, starting off with like 20 minutes of me talking to my crew members. Tally! Let's start with you. I love talking to Tally. Hello! Your ship's amazing, Shepard. I've never seen a drive cord like this before. I can't believe you were able to fit it into a ship this small. Eh. I'm starting There's to an innuendo somewhere there. Have been so successful. I had no idea Alliance vessels were so advanced. Normally they're not. Gathering information on us, the ship's special. Normally they're not. This is, isn't this like a stealth cruiser or something like that? Didn't we design this for stealth? The Normandy's a prototype. Cutting edge technology. Ah, there it is. A month ago, I was patching a makeshift fuel line into a converted tug ship in the flotilla. Now, I'm sitting on board one of the most advanced vessels in Citadel space. I have to thank you again for bringing me along. Traveling on a vessel like this is a dream come true for me. They seem to get a little frisky about these ships. Been on a long? I had no idea you found ship technology so interesting. It comes with being a quarry, and the migrant fleet is the key to the survival of my people. Ships are our most valuable resource. But we don't have anything like this. We make do with cast-offs and second-hand equipment. We just try to keep them running for as long as we can. Some of the fleet's larger vessels date all the way back to our original flight from the Geth. Damn. Yeah, th I thought that was like 300 years ago. Y'all have like had sh you you have lived in ships for 300 years, roughly. I can't believe your fleet's still using ships that are three centuries old. They're constantly being repaired, modified, and refitted. They aren't pretty, but they work mostly. We've tried to make ourselves as independent as possible on the flotilla, grow our own food, mine, and process our own fuel. But some things we just can't make on our own. A patch to maintain the hull integrity requires raw materials we just don't have. That's why our pilgrimages are so important. Nice. Interesting. Uh, Quarians, Geth, Pilgrimage. We learned a bit about Pilgrimage. Uh, we kind of have a rough idea what the Geth are. We know that the Quarians made them and then they revolted. I'll go ahead and ask Tally about the Quarians at the moment. What's up with the Quarians? I know that y'all have suits. What's with the, uh... What's with that? Tell me about your people. <clears throat> Our lives aren't easy. Resources are scarce, and we are constantly on Just the be move. Like, tell me about that. Everything we do must in some way contribute to the continuation of the migrant fleet. There are 17 million quarians in the flotilla, and each of us relies on the others for survival. The bonds among my people are strong. There's only 17 million quarians? We have had to surrender Aren't many of the humans freedoms at like almost a billion or something like that? Take for granted. Like what? Like I know you guys lost your home world, but like what else have you guys like sacrificed? What kind of freedoms? Well, it's illegal for parents to have more than one child. If our population grows too much, it would strain our resources to their breaking point. Of course, we also can't allow our numbers to become too few. If our population is in decline, the rule against single births is temporarily repealed. In extreme cases of population decline, incentives are even offered to encourage multiple births. Though the Conclave hasn't had to take such measures in nearly a century. Uh, the Conclave, I'm gonna safely assume this is like your guys' version of a government? That's your government. 
The Conclave is our civilian branch of government. Each ship can elect a representative to serve on the Conclave and make decisions that affect the fleet as a whole. On matters that affect an individual ship, however, the captain has the final say. It's a tradition that dates back to the early days, when the fleet was governed by martial law. Uh, Fortunately, most captains law. nowadays are smart enough to have an elected council from their crew to give them advice and guidance. It's very democratic. So the ultimate power rests with elected officials? In practice, the conclave and the respective council for each ship tend to set the rules that govern our daily lives. But in theory, we are still under military jurisdiction. Interesting. The five top-ranking military officials in the fleet serve on the Admiralty Board. These five have the power to overrule any decision by the Conclave in case of emergency. To do so requires unanimous agreement among the Admiralty. And they can only do this once. After that, the entire board must resign their posts. Oh, wow. It's a safeguard that served us well. In nearly three centuries, the Admiralty Board has only overruled the Conclave four times. Well, after you do it, you kind of lose your job. It's like that one power move, you know? All right. Well, thank you, Tally. I think we're going to head on to uh, Rex. Good educating. I should go. I should See go. See you later. Good talking. En Engineer Adams. Hey, Commander. You know that Quarian, Tally? She's been spending all her time down here asking me about our engines. Uh, is she bothering you? I'll tell her to leave you alone. What? No, she's amazing. I wish my guys were half as smart as she is. Give her a month on board and she'll know more about our engines than I do. She's got a real knack for technology, that one. Dang, Adam. see why you, you got a little bit more on. blemishes on you. Ah, yeah, she's useful. She's awesome. Corians are cool. They're smart. They know ships. I'm, I'm glad I brought her on board. I figured she'd be a real asset to the team. You've got an eye for talent, Commander. But I'm guessing that's not why you came down here. Um. Nah, I came to ask you what's up. What you up to, Adams? Where else have you served, Adams? You name a class of Alliance ship, I've probably served on it. Everything from dreadnoughts and carriers right down to frigates like the Normandy. My last assignment was on the Tokyo. Only a cruiser, but she was a good ship. Couldn't hold a candle to the Normandy, though. Quite experienced. Good to know, Adams. Well, I think I've taken up enough of your guys' time down here. I'm going to go ahead and head out. Thank you. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye. Carry on. Cool. I forgot that uh, Adams was down here. Also, what is this? Field Integrity Monitor. Mm-hmm. Yes. Let me, let me truly examine the Field Integrity Monitor. Well, that's kind of neat. I don't know if that's like, um... Oh, what do they call it? It's not Eco. It's like Jack and Dexter for some reason. I'm thinking of that. Um, Mass Effect? Yeah, that's a Mass Effect. Yeah. And then, like, that thing spins around it and keeps it there, and then we don't blow up. So, that's cool. Neat. All right. Adams, Tally, good talking. Let me go up here. <coughs> Rex, you old big uh, hunk of love. How you doing? Nice ship you've got, Shepard. Oh, thanks. I picked what it up myself. What can I do for you? Um, I was curious about the whole Krogan thingy. I hear you're one of them. What's your story, Rex? There's no story. Go ask the Quarian if you want stories. Where's the option that says I already did? Ah, come on. What about a short one? You Krogans live for centuries. Don't tell me you haven't had a few on some coffee while we talk. Well, there was this one time the Turians almost wiped out our entire race. Oh. That was fun. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, damn, that's terrible. I heard about that. You know, they almost did the same to us. It's not the same. It isn't? It seems pretty much the same to me. So your people were infected with a genetic mutation? An infection that makes only a few in a thousand children survive birth? And I suppose it's destroying your entire species? Um, no, it's not the same. Okay. I suppose it isn't all the same. I don't expect you to understand, but don't compare humanity's fate with the Krogan. All right, touchy subject. My bad, man. I was just making conversation. I wasn't trying to upset you. 
Your ignorance doesn't upset me, Shepard. As for the Krogan, I gave up on them long ago. <laughs> the genophage infected us, but it's not what's killing us. Uh, okay, so you kind of underline what the genophage was, but you say it's not killing you, so what exactly am I missing here? Are your people really dying? We're sure not getting any stronger. We're too spread out. None of us are interested in staying in our own system. What does that have to do with it? I mean, isn't expansion usually a good thing? I mean, you guys don't have the numbers to expand, but you know what I mean. Lots of species have left their homes and prospered. But they go to colonize new worlds. We're not settlers. We're warriors. We want to fight. So we leave. Hire ourselves out. And most of us never go back. Well, damn. Alright, Rex, good talking. I feel like I just drank so much espresso depresso. I'm gonna be on my way. So long, Rex. Shepard. Good chatting. I can change everybody's uh, thing here. Nice. This is our armory. It's three shotguns, three rifles, and three pistols. Ashley, you are terrible at your job. Commander? Oh, Williams. How we doing? What's your opinion of the last mission? Kind of wish you got there sooner, Commander. No offense. I appreciate the rescue. I just wish... Uh, we tried to get there sooner, but Jenkins died. What I mean is that we would have saved your unit. Mm-hmm. You wish we'd been able to save the rest of your unit. Yes, ma'am. If I had been more alert, we wouldn't have been cut down by an ambush. Man, you couldn't have known. That's kind of like the point of ambushes, is that they're, like, surprising. You know, like, they don't, you, you don't get to wait for them or expect them. They just kind of happen. We never trained to fight synthetics. The Geth haven't gone beyond the Vale in three centuries. Yeah, also that. Our training's supposed to make us able to adapt. I'll make sure it doesn't happen again. Okay. Ms. Grudgy McGrudgerson. Can we talk, Williams? Do you have a few minutes to talk? One on one? I'm sorry, Commander. I need to get my duty squared away. I wouldn't mind talking more later, though. Okay, then. Happy holding a grudge. Dismissed, Chief. Ma'am. What do we got? Garrus, my lovely bad boy. I really do think that in this um, series, I'm going to date Garrus. Or not date Garrus, romance him. I don't know. I'm kind of like halfway in between Garrus and Caden. But Caden's got so much more drama in Mass Effect 2 since you can't recruit him. If you didn't know that, you do now. Sorry about the spoiler. But in any case, Vicarian! Thanks for bringing me on board, Commander. I knew working with a Spectre would be better than life at CSEC. You're hunting down a Spectre. Wait a minute. Hold up, Garrus. I don't think you understand how the rules work here. You didn't just become a Spectre. You are currently hunting down a Spectre. Well, X Spectre. I'll give you that much. How'd you know this life would be better? Let me ask you that. Have you worked with Riddle me this, before? Batman. Well, no, but I know what they're like. Spectres make their own rules. You're free to handle things your way. Except you're buried by rules. The damn bureaucrats are always on your back. Mm, it's not that bad. Some rules are good. Yeah, I'm not gonna agree. Well, nah. For the most part, the rules are there for a reason. Yeah. Maybe. But sometimes it feels like the rules are only there to stop me from doing my work. If I'm trying to take down a suspect, it shouldn't matter how I do it, as long as I do it. But CSEC wants it done their way. Protocol and procedure come first. That's why I left. You left because you needed protocol and procedure? So you just quit because you didn't like the way they do things? There's more to it than that. It didn't start out bad, but as I rose in ranks, I got saddled with more and more red tape. CSEC's handling of Saren was typical. I just couldn't take it anymore. I hate leaving. Ah, it's a tough decision. Yeah, I feel like you've known the uh, Citadel life most of years. If you, like, rose through the ranks of CSEC, you've probably been in the Citadel for a while, so... Must have been a tough decision. I hope you made the right choice. I'd hate for you to regret it later. Well, that's sort of why I teamed up with you. It's a chance for me to get off the Citadel, see how things are done outside CSEC. Either way, I plan to make the most of this. And without CSEC headquarters looking over my shoulder... Maybe I can get the job done my way for a change. 
As long as your way follows my way, we'll be good. If getting the job done means endangering innocent people, then no. We get the job done right, not fast. Got it? I wasn't trying to. I understand, Commander. Oh, put him on that pedestal real quick. Had to settle him down. Alliance Requisition Officer. We're going to call you Arrow. Yeah, A-R-O. Arrow! Hey, Commander. Looking for some extra supplies before you head out? Damn right. What you got? Whatever you want. Armor, weapons, mods. It's not standard Alliance issue, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. I've already bought like well, four as licenses, long as you dude. don't mind paying for it. Why do I have to pay you? You're on my ship. Why should I pay you for my weapons and armor? True. My stuff doesn't come from the Alliance. I have to purchase it myself, and it's not cheap. Hell, the licenses alone have set me back more than I'd like. But no licenses, no goods. Without the goods, I'm out of a job. Ah, show you me got. what you got. I've got like four licenses, man. Just like vouch for them and it will be cool. I only got like a thousand dollars too. Yeah, I ain't getting nowhere with this. A couple sniper rifles, pretty colors. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, a couple pistols. Metagel upgrade. Can I buy that? Why not? All right, thanks, Arrow. We'll be back soonish, probably. Not really. I don't know. I'll see you after the next mission. There you go. I'll go with that one. All right, first deck is done. Next up, we're going to talk to Chakwaz and Alanko. And I think that's it. Chakwaz, sprinting into the medical bay. Always seems like a perfect idea. What you doing? Yes, Commander. Is there something you need? Ah, uh, no, I, I lied. Go. I already Goodbye, talked to you enough, apparently. Good talking, Chakwaz. Always a pleasure. Alanko, I feel like you might have more to offer. Anything you need, Commander? Tactical appraisal, looking for personal equipment. Ah, what do you got on your mind? Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? I've wasted enough of your time for now, Commander. <clears throat> we'll have time for personal debriefings later. What about a tactical appraisal, then? Can you waste my time with a tactical appraisal? What's your opinion on the last mission? Yeah, there you I go. I don't see how we could have done things any better. At least not without getting to Eden Prime sooner. And we were on the scene faster than any other Alliance ship could have been. Damn right. Quickest in the galaxy. All right. We'll talk another time, Lieutenant. Commander? Well, we pretty much scavenged all the crew then. That's about it. Uh, with that, I think it is time that we take the helm. At least I hope that's what it's called, or I'm going to be sounding really dumb right now. So I run into a door. Presley, I don't want to talk to you at the moment. Galaxy map. Time to actually hit the stars. Oh, boy. Zoom out and zoom out and one more zoom out. There we go, the Milky Way galaxy. And good God, am I gonna turn down the volume because right now it is gorgeously loud. A little bit more. There we go. All right, here we go. We get to go to Novaria, Pharos, or Liara's dig site. And I actually want to get Liara kind of quickly, so I think we might spend this episode getting Liara. Because then we can take her to the other locations and different things can happen, stuff like that. Um, or you can just hold her off until the very end of the game, pretty much. And then she's going to be like, what happened? So yeah, we're going to go get Liara. Uh, I'm going to guess she's in Sparta? I'm going to take a sip of my unassuming beverage over here. It's actually coffee. It's just coffee without any milk. And good God, do I hate coffee without milk. I currently don't own any. Yeah, that's exactly the feeling I'm trying to impersonate with my coffee sugar. Exactly the feeling. All right. Uh, are we just like starting from the outside, working our way in? Should it really not give us like an identifier? Survey says plutonium. Next. I can't remember if there's any like planet on these little like rock cluster things. Take those. Nah. Survey says large concentration of hydrogen. Interesting. 
Survey says. Commander, I'm picking up a signal from the planet's surface. It looks like an automated distress beacon. Is this uh, Liara? Um, I don't know. Let me explore the rest of this little area real quick before I decide to. Oh, there it is. What the hell's that? Prothean data disk. Ooh, I can turn this into Liara when I meet her. Also, Tremera. Nothing to do here. What about Altea? Altea. I'll tell you about the I'll tell ya. Okay, so if I was able to do that, then that means that there probably is something along this line. I feel like it was easier to spot in the other game. Like you could see like a little shimmer or shine or something like that, and then you just be able to locate it. Really nothing? I could have sworn there was something in there. Alright. Let's land and find Liara. Jesus. Zoom, zoom. Those are the Team Rocket said, We're blasting off again! Who do I want to take? Um, this is something I didn't even consider yet. What if I add you? I need a biotic and I need combat. Caden and Erdnot Rex seem like the best. Actually, I have the Sentinel figured out, so let's let's pull off on the Sentinel. And it'd be Garrus and Liara otherwise. Let's take Williams. I feel like Williams is able to like like two seconds away from finishing up on hers. Williams and Rex. Yeah, we'll go Williams and Rex. There you go. Oh, look at our little drop pod thingy. Or no, this is a this is a robot. This is a or not a robot. It's a vehicle. This is the Mako, Mako or the Hammond. I can't remember. Oh God, and we actually have to drive this thing. Oh, I also never figured out how to uh, turn off my achievements, so that's a thing still. Um, damn, where are we? Also, let me give these guys a couple points. We'll give you this. Yeah, and then Rex is good, and I'm good. And map. Well, hot diggity dog. We got something back here. What is that? Oh, wow. Okay, so gun... Cube missile, float. Neat. Ah, oh, and a boost. Look at that. Isn't that cool? And we get the scope in. Can I not do anything with this? There you go. Is this just like whatever? Okay, we'll take it as whatever. Back it up a little. Uh, where are we going? I need to go down this valley. And I got debris and an anomaly. So what if I just like ping the debris first? Go scavenge up some items before we head over to Liara. Nah, this uh... I don't remember if this is the Mako or the Hammerhead or whatever they called it. But uh, mechanics are looking a little bit better. It also definitely looks like it's a little bit more authentic, like... I don't know, the original one looked like a toy car, maybe. And I got little boosty jets. Come on, boosty jets, get us up there. Oh, that's fun. Alright, what we got? God, I wasn't ready for that fifth one. It came out at me with a fifth one. I wasn't ready for it. Now let's go. The controls for this are still very, 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 like, 
sticky. Like, you only go forward, really. That's it. Just forward. Nowhere else. I do feel like we're making better time across the planet, though. Woohoo! And everybody in the cabin just threw up. Nice. Alright, what do we got? Mineral deposit or something? Electronic skill too low. Electronic skill too low! What? Alright. Uh, in that case, I want this one. What do we got over here? Because I feel like that one right down the way would be Liara. That would make the most sense. kind of neat. You can like, make a little decent like move across this. I don't remember if there was uh, front boosters in the original. Like these things. I don't remember this being a thing. Maybe it was. I do remember these. The up jets. <laughs> Alright, what do we got? Something right over is that a dead solarian? Oh, it's a mummified solarian. There was another fifth one. Tricky Winks. Not expecting it. Found Captain Millen's identification tag. How to end up here is impossible to know for sure. Well, maybe Buddy shouldn't have been uh, been all the way out here. Is that it? It's everything we need. I'm gonna be heading on to the last area then. Best of luck, sail area and gentlemen. I shall send your um, dog tags to the next one again. That's kind of cool. I like that. <clears throat> Flip it, please. Thank you, God. Uh, this is not Liara. I don't know what this is, but it's not Liara. I know that much. Oh! Pressure mall. Hey there. Oh, back off, homie! Good God! <laughs> Lovely. Yeet. Oh, we are in like some really bad dismay right now. Where's he at? Where's he at? Come on, come on, come on. Oh, they let you move now, but they don't let you do any of like the extra stuff. That's clever. Die, thresh them all. Come on. Where you going? Where you going? Where you going? I see you. Oh, I can even do this now. Where you going to go? Nowhere. And die. Not dead. We're gonna ram him. <laughs> there you go. That was a decent enough ram. Can we flip this? There we go. Alright, I'm gonna let this Omni gel me up a little bit first. There we go. I do like that they made it to where you can, uh, like, move and stuff when you do it now, but they don't let you, um, what am I thinking? Like, shoot and stuff. Examine. 
Alliance soldiers. Looks like they were lured here by the distress beacon. Can I turn it off? Or is there anything I can do here? Oh, uh, I think I remember something about this on um, the Citadel. Can I like turn this off? Nah, that's not how you turn things off apparently. So is that it? Nothing else? Uh, oh, hang on a second. Grants the sabotage, let's use his... Yeah, okay, let me add these things. Because I'm going to need this, like, as quickly as I can. Or is it this? Did I mess up? Shield capacity. Hole. Nah, we're on this. We, we need these. Okay. So, with that, let's also give Ashley some armor. And some fitness. And then Rex. Um, Krogan. And armor. Okay. With that, let's head back to this debris over here, because I think I'll have enough now. Oh dear. Losing on over. Oh, I don't think I can go this uphill. Can. I don't know. I feel like I got denied a lot when I was playing the other game. Look at how dirty my tires are. Ugh. Alright, I see you a little on my map. Oh god, no, 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 no. Don't go that way. Go back up. Come on. Almost there. Now, very gently get up here. I also think that we already found that deposit. So, yeah, we can get over here. Kaplunk. There it is. I'm gonna get the. Uh, Protean artifact with some conspicuous technology. Can I get into it now? I came back and I'm smarter. Electronic skill too low? What do you mean? Oh no, it is electronics. What is this? Open secure objects. So I need these? Uh. Okay, well, I goofed up there, but All targets down. at least we could- who, who was alive? Who, Williams? Who was alive? I don't even know. Can we go back to the, uh, the ship now? How do I- how do I do this? Um... Ah, there you go. Okay, return to the Normandy. Yeah, this is not where uh, Liara was, so we were definitely in the wrong location. Oh, it's saving. Okay, we're in the right nebula. I do know that, so let's back out of here. Uh, let's try Knosa. 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 I think it's Kanoso, so that makes sense. Oh, go around a little asteroid belt. I found ya. Yeah, see, you can't even tell anymore that it's like in there. And survey. And dismissed. All right, start with you. We survey in a whole bunch of planets. I need to make like a whole episode where I just go through them. Nothing. Still nothing. Uh, you don't got nothing for me. Uh, oh. This is Liara. Okay, so let's grab these other ones real quick. Yeah, you ain't got nothing spectacular. I think I already investigated you. Uh, am I missing anything? 
one more time, just to double check. Yeah, we're good. 551 degrees Celsius? Is that not on fire? Like, is that planet okay? Thera. Let's go save us a Liara. This would be the best squad layout. Uh, let me take Williams. Nah, I don't want her to represent us. Carrion and Tally? Then I have no Botic. Or Biotic. Yeah, I'll go the bad boys. Shepard and the bad boy squad. Makes the most sense. Commander, I'm picking up some strange readings. Really oh. strange, like off the damn charts. It looks like, like it's what? coming from an underground complex a few clicks away from the drop zone. I'm like 90% sure that's exactly what I'm looking for, Joker. I also think it's maybe the quickest I've ever saved Liara. Usually I go like one or two missions without her by accident or something. Oh. Sorry, getting a good look at the planet. I remember when this planet used to look like Play-Doh. They've really, like, polished up these textures, redefined the whole area. I mean, it's the exact same. It is. Like, I'm pretty sure, like, all of this is the exact same location. But they just had, like, some, uh, what are they going to be called? Graphic designers, visual designers, or something like that, go back and work on the textures. Like, the ground, the mountains, and the clouds. Like, I'm pretty sure the sky is probably the same. Probably. But then the ground, it looks like there's actually, like, tire treads and stuff on it that are a little bit more, like, uh, supposed to be in the ground instead of, like, they're painted a part of the ground, you know? Like, it looks like somebody else drove here rather than the road just looked like that. Is this where we start to see the guests pop up? I know they're here. You can't lie to me. Oh, there he is. So nice. Cool. Am I still on the... I don't know if they just made the game easier since, like, I played it, but this Insanity difficulty doesn't seem that, like, crazy crazy. I remember Insanity, I had to, like, hardcore, like, aim from, like, miles away and, like, try to avoid every single shot and stuff like that. They probably reduced it a little bit just because of how bad it was, you know. I remember being very pissed off at some sections of the game. What we got over here? Oh, you got a little facility, huh? You don't think I can't see your facility there? Hey, calm down with those rockets. Hey, let me help you out. There you go. Full Only frontal a assault or go around. Your mouth. We'll go around. You should sneak around and pull its tail. Thank you, Erdnot Rex. There we go. Oh. Hey, a juggernaut. And now he's dead. Can I shoot the missiles? No, I thought that would be cool if I could shoot him in the air. Hello! Anybody else want to die? 
About to say, plenty of driving and killing going on here. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Okay, that, that's not how you do that. <laughs> the first death of our series comes from me just not knowing when to not walk away. Ah, some more unassuming, terrible coffee. Only a fool punches a nap back in the mouth. We should sneak around and pull its tail. Sure, Rex. As soon as you'd like to do the pulling, I'll accept. Also... Whew. There you go. Ow, oh, darn it. Okay. Right now we're driving backwards, and that's why this looks a little ridiculous. But... Hey! Am I my sniper? Thank you. Where y'all at? I ain't gonna go guns blazing in this. I'm just gonna passively walk in. Did that hurt y'all? Apparently not. Jesus! There we go. Hey buddy, you wanna put down that shield? One more time, Garrus, come on. Okay, I'll do it. Two shot kills, not bad. Oh, that's the wrong button, hang on. Hey, that was nice. Okay. Who's still shooting? Oh, I see you. Okay. Come on. Oh, look at that. He came on. Or he came through. It says that we got... No, those are the turrets. Those are like turrets that are over there. I don't need to be known with turrets. I need to work with you. And you're using a rocket launcher. So if you could politely not for two seconds, that'd be awesome. Hey, bud. Thank you. <laughs> <clears throat> Alright, let me switch to my stinger. Because I think that we can get some items in here. so quiet. There's no music over this area. <laughs> nice. Um, I got Vicarian, don't I? Yeah, did I already get them their stuff? I don't think that Vicarian has any extra armor. Yeah, he ain't even upgraded. Okay, okay. Um, you're like a sniper elite, so I might just put some into that. What is this going to do? Yeah, he's like hardcore just this type of thing. So I'm gonna do one, two, three, one, two, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three. There you go. Where's the damage I should have? Okay, cool. Now, I wanted to come back here real quick and investigate. Yeah, because I, I can get better armor. So we'll just transfer those to there. I ain't got nothing else, do I? And then I only care about giving me pistols and snipers. But I want that, like, hardcore uh, heat sink capacity. And I also want to give that to Garrus. No, it's this one. So even though we're not doing a lot of damage, we'll be consistently firing over and over again, which I like more. And then, Rex, let's get you something a little bit more powerful. Sure. Go for the scimitar. Um, none of those are Krogan. I think that you also use rifles? Or, that was Garrus. 
I'll give Garrus a slightly better rifle, but I'm not going to give him the best one. I'll give that to, like, Ashley or something. Oh, yeah, that thing's never going to stop. Got so much going for it. Uh, so that one had an item. This one should be the way to unlock it. If I'm correct. Yep, there it is. And there is somebody over here. What was, like, the thing I chose? Damages shields, overheats nearby weapons, and burns them for minor damage. Yes, that is what I was looking for. Oh, it's not like that. I gotta tap it every time. Not bad. I'm not gonna open up those gates, but I'm gonna do this. Hey, there was four. I was ready for that fifth one. Oh, look at that! We just got some Turian armor. Hey, Garrus! Oh, it's because it's medium. How lame. Sorry, Garrus. Not yet. I don't know why you gotta be like eight times stronger before you can wear it, but... <coughs> Excuse me. Coughing on my own words. Mm, nothing else other spectacular around here. In which case, I should probably get uh, the vehicle and bring it in here. Why are there four tires? There's also an easy decryption here. Let me see what's up. Mm, okay. I do remember, like, the very first time I ever played this game. Those games did give me, like, a little bit of, like, pain. Uh, the little, like, <laughs> what's the game I'm thinking of? Like, four tiles or something like that? What the hell was that game called? You literally just had four squares. It's the exact same game as this mini game that we've been playing, but um, this game just added like one or two or three or four more when it used to be difficult to do and stuff like that. It wasn't like Connect Four. No, that's an entirely different game. I don't know what I'm talking about. Shepard is not a thinker, okay? He's a doer. Right now, Shepard about to do you dirty. Do you dirty. Alright. I'm still trying to figure out, like, how much damage I can actually take. Because I remember, like, like doing that here. I was like, okay. My health got kind of low. I can see it on the bottom of the screen, obviously. But playing this... The original game, um, like, I think I would have been dead instantly. Like, I, I don't think I would have survived this, like, just now. This isn't where I need to go, is it? Was it in the other one? Yeah, it's in the other one. <laughs> Ugh, me being blind. Oh, come on, Shepard. I know you got better feet than this. Where is it? Uh, is it over on the wall? Oh, it's right here. I didn't even click it. Okay, cool. I saw the locker and like my brain process. That was it. <clears throat> Onward and upward. Garrus, you're having problems too. We need to like go to legs. Work on leg day more often. Alright, onward we go. That's a lava filled planet. Whoa there, Colossus. Let me just, uh... Oh, I missed. Oh, shoot. I can overheat? I was not aware of that. Also, how much, like, experience is this giving me? It's giving me 126? Oh, yeah, it's definitely worth it, then. I've been trying to figure out how much, like... <laughs> experience I'm getting from these things also, and I'm like, am I even like, should I be doing this? I'm using the legendary mode version of uh, leveling. I don't know what the difference is. I'm still trying to really figure it out. It says it takes from 60 to 30, but I still feel like I'm getting the same amount of, like, points. So. I don't know. Maybe the original Mass Effect just allowed for you to go, like, absolutely crazy with your leveling and, like, power up every single brand, you know. This version is a little bit more, um, held back, 
brain make you think about it. Headshot. After killing like three of these things, I think I get another level up. That's why I'm like actually taking the time to try and get these guys. I'm also trying to make sure that the uh, game is overkill me. I've only died once so far. I think that's what it is. There we go. Got like two more, and I just have a decent little level up coming along. <clears throat> Oh, little rocket troopers. See, this one's a little bit more debatable. They, 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 they die in like two seconds, so it's not terrible. Ooh. You're who I care about. Hey, rocket trooper, chill. Come on. Ram them. You used to be able to topple these things. So, yep. Okay, that's cool. I was hoping they wouldn't structure those any differently or something. You can literally just ram them and knock them over. And look at that level up. <coughs> Grab that real quick. Um, apparently, I need electronics. So I'll add a couple points to this. And I'll put the next one in Spectre Training. Uh, we'll go finesse for you. I feel like you need a little bit more health and immunity. And I already am covering pretty much both of these, so I will go this way. Make you a little bit more lethal. There we go. See, I feel like we're leveling up just nicely. Maybe even quicker. I don't remember leveling up this quick in the other game. Who knows? Game creators, they know. Somebody did all the math and was like, yep, this is the way to do it. Oh, I didn't hit him when I came down, but I hit him when I came down, if you know what I mean. Alright, almost to our destination. These hammerheads, is that what this is called, the hammerhead? I might guess it is. The hammerhead missions were a little bit more dull than I remember. I don't know, it was, I remember not liking them as much. I don't like it right now, like I'm not super enjoying the game how I would be otherwise. But, um, I don't know. They made it a bit more smooth, I think is how I want to describe it. This, this section is smoother. And it's going by a little bit quicker. Maybe it's just because I know what I'm doing also, but... Oh, you have these wanky boys. See, they aren't even getting through my shields. Like, like I am suffering no damage. Unless there's a little area down there, apparently. Oh, we're to the end. I do remember this little area, too. <clears throat> Alright, let's go kill some Geth. Game just saved for us, that's nice. Let me save one more time. Um, I saved there last time. I'll save here this time. Those save times also, that was, that was quite impressive on how quickly that happened. Ah, sorry, I had to scratch my nose. Oh, no, 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 how do I, how do I do the thing? There we go. I forgot that there wasn't like a button just to do it now. Can't even see anybody. Who was shooting guys? Oh, I don't know, but they shot quick. Come on, who was shooting? Rex, get up there.
the the sniper play in this one's a little bit more pleasant. It used to be like just fine, but it's like much nicer now. Oh, got turned around. Where am I going? This way. I feel like the sniper play is very fluid. It's much more of like a, a rifle than like a sniper rifle, if you know what I mean. Nice. I always remember that there's a get somewhere that gives me so much hell in this area. Got him out of the way immediately. That might have killed me if it hit me. Like, look at that! That sniper shot! So pleasant. Good stuff. Alright. I'm glad you feel so at place here, Rex. Hey, bud, I saw you. This is phenomenal. I love this. Usually I play as the, um, a biotic warrior, and you've got, like, the charge abilities and the overpowered stuff and stuff like that. But this, I just feel like I'm a death cannon from, like, 50 paces, you know? Oh, I remember this. This area right here in front of me used to give me so much headache when I played through here. I think I attempted this fight on Insanity originally maybe, maybe 20 times. So, um, yeah, this will be like the true test of like how different these games are. Because as I said, this one used to give me all headaches. Like, it was bad. Save here real quick. <clears throat> okay, let's rock and roll. As I said, this used to give me like, maybe, I do remember dying more than 10 times to this. So I'm thinking 14 to 18 times in actuality. And I do remember I had me, Rex, and I think Pally. Oh, they brought us the big boy. I have to be quick, easy, and efficient, but I gotta kill the uh, sniper ones first. Where is, where is this? that guy? Like, like, Garrus is already dead. I am almost dead. See, like, this is a, this is a bad mojo zone. Um... That didn't get me too far. Pretty much, take out the stalkers first. These things that are just jumping around the entire area, I hate them. Let me go back to my rifle. I'd have a much more efficient time taking shots at you. Just sit still. There we go. Come on. Oh, like, there's one right here. Ah, and then they can get up here too. I forget that. Rex is already dead. <laughs> oh, get behind something. No! Hey, buddy. No, 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 no. Chill, 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 chill. Lost shield. No, you didn't. Shepard, chill. Okay, hang on, hang on. I got another ability I can use. Shield boost. Let me use this. Get some of this back. Someone give me a hand. Punch that, dude. Chill. <laughs> behind something. Like, good god. Put my shield steel. Shepard, can't even take aim right now. Dude. Someone give me a hand. Ah, dang it. Okay. Well, 
there's death number one. As I said, this one got me a lot. So we're going to figure out if there's like a different location I can position myself in or something. <sighs> oh, and we are like right back into it, huh? Okay, one is dead. Garrus, I need you over there. Okay, that's dead. Run, or, uh, Rex is over there. Everybody. Oh, we got we got some more. Hang on. Okay, that should be everybody. Careful. I had to take him out real quick. I saw him there. And I think that there's somebody over here. I don't even know how much this Colossus has. Oh, that was close. That scared me. Yeah, like, Rex, do something. He is so focused on Rex right now. I'm gonna keep taking my... Oh, I actually did my thing. Uh, is there... how do I throw the... Nope, that's not it. That's Metagel. There we go. Anytime now. This thing can take a lot. Like, good lord. Okay, Rex, let's get you up there. Not doing too well. What about? There we go. That was something. Is he like scared now that I'm like right in front of him? Never think I'd get this close, bud. Oh, Here, let me help you out. I'd be. Oh no, nope, never mind. I'd be scared. <laughs> got one last guy that I see over here, and I ain't letting him take us by surprise, so. Okay. Whew. That was a lot. Attempt number two out of, um, as I said, like the maybe 16 that I took last time. That was nice. All right. Good, good, good conflict. Let's go ahead and actually find where we are now. It was like the whole point in being here. Garrus, you don't seem like you're doing too well, bud. Can Garrus fix this? Nah, he's got a shield boost as well. I can fix it. Down we go! And there's even a... Yeah, I was about to say, there's a couple get down here, if I'm pretty sure. Okay, 
Oh, 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 almost. I'm gonna hold up right here for a second. God. Until those shields come back, because obviously the guests in here don't want to play around in close quarters. There they go. Nice. Try to sneak around here real quick, and I think that there was only one left. He might already be dead. Nope. Oh, come on, guys. It was one hit. One hit. Oh, uh, we'll make that death number three. From how it's going, though, I really don't think it'd be, like, terribly, terribly difficult to beat this game without dying once. I don't know. We're about to come across the second most difficult fight that I've had to encounter, which is, um the elevator shaft going back up out of here. We'll see shortly, but it's it's a pretty difficult one. Compared to that, it was giving me a lot more difficulty. Just because it's going to be super close quarters and stuff. You'll see. Where's he at? Oh, I can zoom in. That is, that is something. I didn't realize that I could do this. This is cool. Oh, yes. Oh, that's beautiful. Nice. Can I do that with other guns? Uh, no. But I can do that. <laughs> Button, switch back to the sniper. Thank you. You think you're a sniper, sir. No, 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 no. Interesting fact, I do suppose that the Citadel would be a Prothean Ruin to some degree. Even though at this point it is, um... Hmm. Sorry, I took a sip of some unassuming beverage. Uh, what was I going to say? The Citadel. If you refurbish something and use it for a different purpose, is it considered a relic still? Like, you know what I mean? Hmm. I have a better plan besides just spray and pray at the moment, so. I saw like enemies down there and I figured that they were just gonna come up to us real quick. Staring white. Eh, nice. <clears throat> at ease, gentlemen. So. Come here often? I did not realize my pickup lines were that bad. Oh, good heavens. Plop over here. Hello? Can somebody help me? Please? <gasps> Dr. Tassoni? Can you hear me out there? I'm trapped. I need help. <clears throat> um, I'm gonna guess you're Dr. Tassoni. Liara Tassoni, I presume? Thank the goddess. I did not think anyone would come looking for me. Listen, this thing I'm in is a Prothean security device. I cannot move, so I need you to get me out of it, alright? Mm-hmm. Nah, we'll be quick about it. Uh, we'll find a way to free you. We just need to figure some way past this energy field. It's a Prothean barrier curtain. I knew it would keep me safe from the Geth. When I turned it on, I must have hit something I wasn't supposed to. I was trapped in here. You must get me out, please. Okay, okay, just stay calm. I'll get you we'll out in two seconds. We'll find some way to help you. There is a control in here that should deactivate this thing. 
You'll have to find some way past the barrier curtain. That's the tricky part. The defenses cannot be shut off from the outside. I don't know how you'll get in here. Be careful. There is a Krogan with the Geth. They have been trying different ways to get past the barrier. Liara's gotten a nice facelift in this one. I mean, all of them have. Everybody's got a very nice, like, new facial look to them. They all look a lot more realistic and grounded. Like, they should be in a world like this type of thing. Oh, too easy. Oh, not easy enough. I wonder if the second and third game are going to hold up the same amount of, um, like, hold that this one is. These shots just take just a little bit more energy, and I always forget that. Oh, I didn't even, like, kill him. Just knocked him down. Come on. There we go. Alright, anything nice, new, and neat back here that I need to steal? I mean pillage? I mean take? Oh, like a weapons locker. Good stuff. And another storage locker. And good stuff. So my question is, is that we know that Saren is working with the Geth, and the Geth are working with Sovereign, but my question is, is how did this Krogan get involved? Because he's just like, indistinguishable mercenary. Oh good god, what is going on? Um... don't know what I did, but neat. <laughs> that was really just me guessing. There you go. Master overload. Further increases the radius of strength and overload. And eventually I will start to get through this and this a little bit more. I'm only level 7. I feel like I'll have enough space to do everything I want to. I'm gonna max this out, max this out, max out charm, specter training, and then at least get sniper rifles going with tactical armor. I don't think I'll do anything with pistols though. All right, that one underneath. <clears throat> Bet you never expected this one, did you? The old roundabout. This always gave me a sense of like inertia or something like that. Like I can't tell if we're going up and it's coming down or the other way around. I also think that they added cover. <laughs> I think that they added cover for this fight. I don't remember these containers all being here. Here if you need me. Mr. Sony. Oh, how did you get in here? I didn't think there was any way past the barrier. Big freaking boom. We blasted through with the mining laser. Of course. Yes, that makes sense. Please, get me out of here before more Geth arrive. That button over there should shut down this containment field. Not so fast, Shepard. You sure she's on our side? Her mother's working with Saren. I am not my mother. I don't even... I don't know why Benezia joined Saren. I don't want anything to do with that Turian bastard. Uh, I believe her. If she was with my Saren, the wouldn't is be that trying to kill her. How would she know about Saren? Like, she knows that... Oh, uh, well... No. Yeah, how would Liara know about Saren yet? Like, how did that get across to here? And she even called him a Turian bastard, I'm pretty sure, like... Hmm. Any idea how we get out of this place? There is an elevator back in the center of the tower. At least I... I think it's an elevator. It should take us out of here. Come on! Leon looks so much younger in this I, version. I still cannot believe all this. Why would the Geth come after me? Do you think Benezia's involved? Saren's looking for the conduit. You're a Prothean expert. Obviously he wants you to help him find it. The conduit, but I don't know. Uh oh. What the hell was that? 
These ruins are not stable. That mining laser must have triggered a seismic event. We have to hurry. The whole place is caving in. Well, let's get going. Joker, get the Normandy airborne and lock in on my signal. On the double, mister. Aye, aye, Commander. Secure and away. ETA eight minutes. I think that male shepherd calls him soldier. If I die in here, I'll kill him. <laughs> on the double, mister. I think he says on the double soldier in the other one. Or if it's a dude. Or I mean like a guy. I don't know. I use the word dude for both men and women. So yeah. They even have like other forms of like protection coming up. Yeah, this is hilarious. I don't... I wonder if it was like that bad that they needed to add more. What's up, bud? Surrender. Or don't. That would be more fun. Uh, dude, the ruins are coming down. In case you didn't notice, this place is falling apart. Exhilarating, isn't it? Thanks for getting rid of those energy fields for us. Hand the doctor over. Whatever it is you want, you are not getting it from me. You want to fight now? Obviously does. I'm not giving her up, so you gotta come get her, buddy. She'll stay with us, thanks. Uh. Not an option. Saren wants her, and he always gets what he wants. Kill them. Spare the Asari if you can. If not, doesn't matter. Okay, let's take a second here and analyze what we got. Um, I'm gonna start off by sabotage there. You can go immunity. And you, I want to sabotage there. Okay, hold. We move hold. So now I go back. I'm gonna use overload here. Okay, good, good stuff, good stuff. I'm gonna take out these guys first. I think they're already dead. Good stuff, good stuff. Program Battlemaster there, everybody focus fire on him. Rex, I don't know how to say this, but get out there, bro. Come on. Oh, good save. Almost there. Come on. Good stuff. Oh, shoot, he's not dead. You can stop healing. Thank you. Good stuff. Alright, not as bad as it used to be. I, I don't know if they did something with how some of the combat works, but I remember getting thrown around a lot more. Like, biotic abilities used to be hell spawn. That's another thing we'll see with the uh, Matriarch Benezi's fight. as he said, exhilarating, isn't it? Good stuff, and Dr. Tassoni is safe. Too close, Commander. Ten more seconds, we would have been swimming in molten sulfur. The Normandy isn't equipped to land in exploding volcanoes. They tend to fry our sensors and melt our hull. Just for future reference. Hmm. We almost died out there, and your pilot is making jokes? Yeah, he saved us. It eases the tension. It's a coping mechanism. You'll get used to it. I see. It must be a human thing. I don't have a lot of experience dealing with your species, Commander. But I am grateful to you. You saved my life back there, and not just from the volcano. Those geth would have killed me or dragged me off to Saren. What did Saren want with you? Do you know something about the conduit? 
Only that it was somehow connected to the Prothean extinction. That is my real area of expertise. I have spent the past 50 years trying to figure out what happened to them. Oh, good God. 50 years? You're like... like 20 and a half, at most. Just how old are you exactly? I hate to admit it, but I am only 106. Damn! I hope I look that good when I'm your age. <laughs> a century may seem like a long time to a short-lived species like yours. But among the Asari, I am barely considered more than a child. That is why my research has not received the attention it deserves. Because of my youth, other Asari scholars tend to dismiss my theories on what happened to the Protheans. Uh, what did you learn? And then versus what I've learned, pretty much. And then, apparently, I just tell her what I've learned. What, what did you end up learning? Did your research turn up anything interesting? What is interesting is what I did not turn up. There is remarkably little archaeological evidence of the Protheans, and even less that might explain why they disappeared. It is almost as if someone did not want the mystery solved. It is like someone came along after the Protheans were gone and cleansed the galaxy of clues. But here is the incredible part. According to my findings, the Protheans were not the first galactic civilization to mysteriously vanish. This cycle began long before them. Oh, wow. Okay, so how did you discover that the Protheans weren't the first? Because they were like 50,000 years ago, I think is the idea. Where'd you come up with this theory? I thought there wasn't any evidence. I have been working on this for 50 years. I have tracked down every scrap and shred of evidence. Eventually, subtle patterns start to emerge. Patterns that hint at the truth. It is difficult to explain to someone else. I cannot point to one specific thing to prove my case. It is more a feeling derived from a half century of dedicated research. But I know I'm right. And eventually, I will be able to prove it. There were other civilizations before the Protheans. This cycle has repeated itself many times over. Okay, so if that's true, then who was before them? I mean, nah, I only really care about the Protheans. So why are you calling this a cycle, then? What cycle? What are you talking about? The galaxy is built on a cycle of extinction. Each time a great civilization rises up, it is suddenly and violently cast down. Only ruins survive. The Protheans rose up from a single world until their empire spanned the entire galaxy. Yet even they climbed to the top on the remains of those who came before. Hmm. Their greatest achievements, the mass relays and the citadel, are based on the technology of those who came before them. And then, like all the other forgotten civilizations throughout galactic history, the Protheans disappeared. I have dedicated my life to figuring out why. Well, I can help you with that. They were wiped out by a race of sentient machines. The Reapers. The... the Reapers? But I have never heard of... How do you know this? What evidence do you have? A beacon on Eden Prime. There was a damaged Prothean beacon on Eden Prime. It burned a vision into my brain. I'm still trying to sort out what it all means. Visions? Yes, that makes sense. The beacons were designed to transmit information directly into the mind of the user. Finding one that still works is extremely rare. No wonder the Geth attacked Eden Prime. The chance to acquire a working beacon, even a badly damaged one, is worth almost any risk. But the beacons were only programmed to interact with Prothean physiology. Whatever information you received would have been confused, unclear. Uh, quite so. I am amazed you were able to make sense of it at all. A lesser mind would have been utterly destroyed by the process. You must be remarkably strong-willed, Commander. This isn't helping us find Saren, or the Conduit. No, nah, just stroke you're my right. ego and you'll be I fine. I am sorry, my <laughs> scientific curiosity got the better of me. Unfortunately, I do not have any information that could help you find the Conduit, or Saren. But you can still help us, right? I don't know why Saren wanted you out of the picture, but I think we'll be a lot better off if we bring you along. Thank you, Commander. Saren might come after me again. I cannot think of anywhere safer than here on your ship. And my knowledge of the Protheans might be useful later on. And her bionics will come in handy when the fighting starts. <laughs> Great. Another alien. Nah, welcome aboard, Tassoni. Good to have you on the team, Liara. Thank you, Commander. I am very grateful. Oh, I am afraid I am feeling a bit lightheaded. When was the last time you ate? Or slept? Dr. Chakwa should take a look at you. It is probably just mental exhaustion. Coupled with the shock of discovering the Protheans' true fate. I need some time to process all this. 
Still, it could not hurt to be examined by a medical professional. It will give me the chance to think things over. Are we finished here, Commander? Yep, we'll talk later. Good talking. We can talk again after you've seen the doctor. The rest of you, dismissed. Mission reports are filed, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? Sure. Patch him through, Joker. Setting up the link now, I Commander. I always do love these little interactions with the We've Council. Report, Actually, Commander. seems like we're I working for Dr. them. I understand Dr. is on the Normandy. I assume you're taking the necessary security precautions. I know what I'm doing. She wants to help us. Liara is on our side. The Geth were trying to kill her. Benezia would never allow Saren to kill her daughter. Maybe she doesn't know. Or maybe we don't know her. We never expected she could become a traitor. At least the mission was a success. Apart from the utter destruction of a major Prothean ruin. Was that really necessary, Shepard? <laughs> Disconnect. Yes, it was. And I'd happily blow up 12 more Prothean rooms to do just the same thing. It was in a volcano. Like, dude. The Geth were crawling all over those ruins. We were lucky to make it out alive. Of course, Commander. The mission must always take priority. Good luck, Commander. Remember, we are all counting on you. Good stuff. Alright, I can think of no better way to... Ooh, click. <laughs> and I'm still kind of far off from the next one. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and wrap up this video by talking to all the crewmates, getting a little foundational touch with all of them and stuff. Uh, let's go to the bottom real quick. Other than that, I think that we have a complete crew now. We got all of them until uh, the next game when we decide to make like a 20-man squad or something crazy. Ah, oh, Commander Shepard stretching out the old neck. I said that this video was going to be like an hour long. I do, I do hope I'm keeping within that time constraint. <laughs> be like an hour and 20 minutes. I'll cut out a little bit of the editing. Let's start with uh, Tally again, see if she's got anything new to say. Core zero. Ah, element zero, that's what it was. Oh, hello, Shepard. Ah, uh, what's wrong? You okay? Are you okay? I don't know. Your ship is amazing, and your crew's been really great to me, especially your chief engineer. But I just sort of feel out of place. The Normandy runs so smooth, it feels like we're not even moving. And the engines are so quiet. How do you sleep at night? Um, I like the silence. It's too quiet to sleep for you? The silence wakes you up? Back on the flotilla, the last thing you want to hear is silence. It means an engine's died or an air filter shut down. I guess you don't have to worry about that here. But old habits die hard. But it's more than just a silence. This ship feels so empty. It's like half the crew is missing. Back home, I couldn't wait to go on my pilgrimage. I couldn't wait to get away from the crowds. Now that I'm out here, I kind of miss them. Uh, human terms would say that that's considered homesick. Now, don't get mistranged, lady. It's not like sick of home, it's homesick. Sometimes we don't appreciate what we have till it's gone. That's true. I'm starting to wonder if that's what the pilgrimage is really about. It's given me a whole new perspective on my people and our culture. You know, there's always a few who go on their pilgrimages and never return. I always assumed something bad happened to them. But maybe they just wanted a different life. Hmm. But you're going back after this, right? You do plan to return to the migrant fleet, right? I could never abandon my people, Shepard. I will go back eventually, but we have to stop Saren first. Otherwise, I might not have a home to go back to. Understandable. Well, I'm glad that we talked this out. Hope you're doing good, Tally. Uh, enjoyed chatting with Chief Engineer Adams. I should go. See you later. Adams? Something I can do for you, Commander. Nope, just say Carry hi. on, Adams. Aye, aye. I feel like Rex and uh, Ashley might have a thing or two to say. So this should be interesting. How you doing, Rex? So, we've got Saren on the run. Indeed we do, like a Pyrax with his tail between his legs. It won't be long now. Saren's good, but I'm better. Ooh. Good. He's rotten. To the core. 
I could tell as soon as I met him. Uh, yeah, didn't he hire you? Why didn't you tell me this sooner? I would have if I thought it was important. Oh, okay, I guess that's fair enough. I think I'd like to hear about it just the same. This was a while ago. A bunch of mercs were bragging about a job out near the edges of the Terminus systems. They said it paid well and the boss was never around to ride them. They said he was looking for more men, too. So I checked it out. So he recruited you. I didn't know Saren was openly recruiting mercs. It wasn't that open, and he only showed his face once. We'd been raiding ships in the area for months when we took out this massive cargo freighter. Our biggest haul yet. I was on board checking bodies for valuables, looking for some extra credits. That's when I saw him. What was he doing? Was he amongst the bodies? What did Saren want with the ship? I don't know what he wanted. He was just moving through the ship, watching. A couple of the mercs called him by name, but he never spoke to them. Never spoke to anyone. Oh, that's not ominous. I had a really bad feeling about him, so I got the hell out. Didn't even wait to get paid. Cargo, ship, ah, not important, old stuff. That's it? Nothing else? That's the only time you saw him? Yeah. Didn't even know who he was. Still wouldn't if I hadn't joined up with you. Ah. Oh. But my instincts were right. Every other merc on that mission turned up dead within a week. Every damn one. Damn. Well, that's some metal shit. Um, good talking, Rex. Good to know you didn't die, and I promise the next time we see Saren, he'll be the one on the ground. So long, Rex. Shepard. Williams! Commander. Can we talk? Do you have a few minutes to talk? One-on-one? -on -one? Sure. I, I was hoping to get a minute of your time off the record. What's up? I keep an open-door policy. If you have any concerns, lay them on me. All right. I know things are different aboard the Normandy, but uh, I'm I'm concerned about the aliens, Vicarian and Rex. With all due respect, Commander, should they have full access to the ship? Because they're not with the Alliance military? They may not serve the Alliance chief, but they're allies, at least as far as Saren goes. This is the most advanced ship in the Alliance Navy. I don't think we should give them free reign to poke around the vital systems. Engines, sensors, weapons. Oh, I can call it hard. Can't confine them. You don't trust aliens? Um, this, like, ship is half human, half Turian. Yeah, like, dude. You don't trust the Alliance's allies? I'm not sure I'd call the Council races allies. Ooh. We, humanity, I mean, have to learn to rely on ourselves. He who does not make allies dies quickest. Standing up for ourselves and loneliest. Mean standing alone. Mm. I don't think we should turn down allies. I just think we shouldn't bet everything on them staying allies. As noble as the council members seem now, if their backs are against the wall, they'll abandon us. Mm. Not necessarily. Yeah, I feel like this is like where I'd be at. I don't see that as inevitable. Look. If you're fighting a bear, and the only way for you to survive is to sick your dog on it and run, you'll do it. As much as you love your dog, it isn't human. It's not racism, not really. Members of their species will always be more important to them than humans are. Yeah, I have heard this before, actually. One of my other crew members agrees with you. You sound like one of those terra firma party pamphlets, Chief. Oh, wow. Terra firma is a pack of jackals. The founders had ideals. These days, they just play off xenophobia and bigotry. I hope my reasons are more rational. My father, grandfather, great-grandmother, they all picked up a rifle and swore the oath of service. I guess we just tend to think of Earth's interests as our own. You have a family of military service. What about yours? It doesn't sound like you've worked with aliens before. No, ma'am. Mainly I've been groundside, part of the surface garrison forces. I did get a rotation on a space station for training. 
Every Marine a rifleman, every rifleman ZG certified. Zero gravity, nice. Well, you deserve better. Like, you, you seem like you're a fieldsman, like you like being on the ground, so. That's odd. Your record is spotless and your technical scores are exemplary. You should be serving with the fleet. Anyway, that's why I haven't served with many aliens, Commander. Alright, well I understand your feelings, but they're part of the crew. Part of the ship, part of the crew. Alright, I can see where your concerns are coming from, Williams. But this is a multilateral mission. You're gonna have to work with aliens, like it or not. It won't be a problem, Commander. You say jump, I say how high. You tell me to kiss a Torian, I'll ask which cheek. I remember this. I'm glad there won't be a problem. Anything else you need, Commander? How you doing? What's your opinion of the last mission? Not sure I buy Dr. Tassoni's story about her and her mom not talking. They're family, right? Well, I believe her, and you I probably don't just because you're in such a tight family. Or at family. least I don't think she lies very often. Yeah, she's probably really bad at it. Eh. Too bad those ruins got destroyed. I mean, they lasted thousands of years. That's impressive. Eh. Dismissed, Chief. And me as Man. Commander Shepard was satisfied to burn it to the ground. <laughs> okay, Vicarian. Commander. How are you? Um, good. I'd like to ask you about the mission, but what about you and CSEC, apparently? Why did you want to be a CSEC officer in the first place? Hmm. That's a good question. There were several reasons, I guess. Such as? Like what? Probably the same as most officers. I wanted to fight injustice, wanted to help people. I guess my father had something to do with it, too. He was CSEC, one of the best. I grew up hearing about his accomplishments or seeing his picture on the vids after a big arrest. He's taking my resignation pretty hard. Well, that's interesting to know that he's actually taking your resignation hard. That's tough. But you'd think he'd be impressed you're going after Saren. Also true. My father's a CSEC man to the bone. Do things right or don't do them at all, he says. He thinks I'm being too rash too impatient. He's worried I'll become just like Saren. He actually talked me out of becoming a Spectre when I was younger, for the same reasons. Really? You were asked to be a Spectre? Well, I was targeted as a possible Spectre candidate. Me and about a thousand other Turian military recruits. I could have received special training, but my father didn't like it. He despises the Spectres. He hates the idea of someone having unlimited power. No accountability. Gareth said when he was younger. Like you, I mean, I don't know how old, like. No offense. <laughs> I see. I suppose I can understand his concern. You can. But Saren's not going to play by our rules, C sex rules. If you want to nail Saren, you need to send someone who isn't restricted by policies and procedures. Uh. I actually kind of agree in an indifference with this one. Um, people that don't play by the rules usually require people that don't play by the rules. As I was going to say, though, Gary said that when he was younger, he was talked out of it. And he's been with CSEC for a couple years. I don't know how old Garrus is, but I imagine he's probably in his, like, 30s, maybe? I don't know. I don't know how you tell age on, like, a, um, a Turian. Just because you can break the rules doesn't mean you should. I don't need to stoop to Saren's level to stop him. And neither do you, Garrus. There you go. I see what you mean, but... I'll think about it. Thanks, Commander. At least ponder through some thoughts. Uh... Do I even have any money? I got a little bit more money. I'll hold off. We'll, we'll work on that next episode. As of right now, I need to talk to... To Sony, Chakwaz, and... Alenko. Very nice little piano in the background. <laughs> Trying to know where the Chuck was. And I think that Tassoni's through here. Anything new, Chuck was? Yes, Commander. Oh, Is there just something saying hi. I should go. Goodbye, Commander. Come back with a bottle of brandy sometime or something. Tassoni! Commander. Are you coming to check up on me? Yeah, trying to make sure you're okay. You seem like something happened. You look much better. How are you feeling? Dr. Chakwas assures me I am going to be fine. 
I was impressed with her knowledge of Asari physiology. Ah, dude, she's the best. She like she's. I'm I'm sure that if you needed to transplant your kidney with the Krogans, she could do it. You're in good hands. Doctor Chakwas knows what she's doing. I never properly thanked you for saving me from the Geth Commander. If you hadn't shown up, I... oh, don't mention it. I'm just glad we got there in time. So am I. I know you took a chance bringing me aboard this ship. I have seen the way your crew looks at me. They do not trust me. But I am not like Benezia. I will do whatever I can to help you stop Saren. I promise. I understand. I, I, I believe you. Don't worry, Liara. I trust you. I know you won't let me down. It means a lot to hear you say that, Commander. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd like to talk about you. Tell me about yourself, Liara. Me? I am afraid I am not very interesting, Commander. I spend most of my time on remote digs, unearthing mundane items buried in long-forgotten Prothean ruins. <coughs> hmm. I'm still trying to debate on if I want to flirt with Liara throughout this playthrough, so I'm like, maybe. But then I'm like, eh. Because honestly, I would like to see, um... A particular romance like flourish or something like that so I'm like who do I want to date I think I might go to Sony to Sony play around with somebody else in two and then come back to Sony in three there you go sounds dangerous and lonely sometimes I would run afoul of indigenous life forms or stumble across a small band of mercenaries or privateers but I was always careful. Until the Geth followed me to Artemis Tau. I never found myself in any situation my biotics could not handle. As for the solitude, well, that is one aspect that most appealed to me. Sometimes I just need to get away from other people. Why do you think you enjoy getting away from them? You don't like other people? I suppose it comes from being a matriarch's daughter. <laughs> People expected me to follow in Benezia's footsteps. They wanted me to become a leader of our people. Matriarchs guide their followers into the future. They seek the truth of what is yet to come. Maybe that's why I became so interested in the secrets of the past. It sounds so foolish when I say it out loud. It sounds like I became an archaeologist simply to spite Benezia. You became the very thing that she despises. Or the exact opposite of what she's become type of thing. Mm -hmm, I see that. I don't think it's foolish. Everybody's, like, out there to make their own destiny. All children rebel against their parents. It's a natural part of growing up. Also true. Uh -huh. You share the wisdom of the matriarch, Shepard. That is exactly what Benezia said when I told her of my decision. But there was more to it than that. I felt drawn to the past. The Protheans were these wondrous, mysterious figures. I wanted to know everything about them. That is why I find you so fascinating. You were marked by the beacon on Eden Prime. You were touched by working Prothean technology. I'm fascinating, raises eyebrow. Sounds like you want to dissect me in a lab somewhere. What? No, I did not mean to insinuate. Uh, I never meant to offend you, Shepard. I only meant that you would be an interesting specimen for an in-depth study. Uh, no, that's even worse. <laughs> Relax. Jokes aside, I get it. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Calm down, Liara. I was only <clears throat> joking. Joking? Oh, by the goddess. How could I be so dense? You must think I am a complete and utter fool. Now you know why I prefer to spend my time in the field with data disks and computers. I always seem to say something embarrassing around other people. Please, just pretend this conversation never happened. Well, I will at least pretend it didn't happen for ten more minutes. <laughs> Good talking to Sony. I should go. Wink, wink, nudge, Goodbye, nudge. Goodbye, Shepard. Am I like two seconds away from it? Ah, oh, like two more people and I'd be there. Alright, let's talk to Elenko. And then... Vicarian? Oh, there's a sleeping bud. Let me grab that real quick. Nah, Vicarian was downstairs. I think Vicarian's in, in here in two. Elenko! Commander, do you have a minute? What's up? I always make time for my officers. Off the record, I think there's something wrong here. 
This Saren is looking for records on some kind of galactic extinction. But we can't get backup from the Council? Sorry, Commander. There's writing on the wall here, but someone isn't reading it. Uh, yeah, they kind of just threw us to the wolves, but fortunately enough, we brought the knife, like, you know. The Council doesn't want to believe anything's wrong. I'd call it human nature, but... I hear you. It, it just seems like a group that's been around as long as the Council should see this coming. And it's funny, we finally get out here, and the final frontier was already settled. And the residents don't even seem impressed by the view. Or the dangers. Uh, I can kind of agree with that. Cute way to look at it, I guess. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'll go with this one. Yeah, it's kind of a nice way to look at it, I suppose. Well, well. You're a romantic. Did you sign on for the dream, Alenko? Secure a man's future in space? <laughs> yeah, I, re I read a lot of those books when I was a kid, where the hero goes to space to prove himself worthy of a woman he loves, or, you know, for justice. Maybe I was a romantic in the beginning, but I thought about it after brain camp. Uh, sorry. Biotic acclimation and temperance training. I'm not looking for the dream. I just want to do some good. See what's out here. Sorry if I got too informal. Protocol wasn't a big focus back in BOT. Nah, it's perfectly fine. When we're off duty, we're off duty, so it's whatever, but it's all good. Tell me about it. Biotic acclimation and temperance didn't last past the airlock. To the kids they hauled in, it was brain camp. Sorry, hauled in is unkind. We were encouraged to commit to an evaluation of our abilities so an understanding of biotics could be compiled. There are worse results of accidental exposure to element zero in the womb. Beats the brain tumors some kids grew up with. Good God. What's the survival rate? Yeah, what is the survival rate? Because I don't... I'm not a biotic at all. I got tech and, like, other stuff. Seems like you beat the odds. How many didn't make it? Out of 100, maybe 60 have no effect. 30 suffer adverse effects. Little things like brain cancer. The other 10 show enough ability to augment with implants. Not always permanent, though. Not like the cancer. Next thing you know, you're out on jump zero. And how's a kid supposed to deal with that? A station at the edge of human space. Intentional exposure, jump zero. I figured that Shepard would know what jump zero is. Talk about his friends in the time. I feel like since we're in the future, there'd be ways to work through cancer more efficiently. Just saying. You know of any intentional exposures for certain? No one knows. Doesn't mean they didn't happen. As big as the exposures were, it was hard to track down accidentals. It was different then. No one knew the potential, so there wasn't a lot of regulation. Anything Kinetics did was gold. I'm not saying they intentionally detonated drives over our outposts, but in retrospect, they were damn quick on the scene. What about your friends? Didn't you have any friends while you were on Jump Zero? There were other kids in the same boat, right? At least you weren't alone out there. That's true. We did have a little circle that'd get together every night before lights out. We didn't have much to do, though. It was a research platform then, and Kinetics kept Jump Zero off the extranet to prevent leaks. Yeah, at least they had time to talk. Then you must have had plenty of time to get to know each other. Yeah, we'd sit around and bowl every night after dinner, play cards or network games. There was this girl named Rana who had a little circle grow up around her. She was from Turkey. Her family was very rich, but she was smart and charming as hell. Beautiful, but not stuck up about it. Like you, I guess. Oh, that's some puppy love. Did you end up loving her? Sounds like she was special to you. She was. Maybe she felt the same, but things never felt together. Training, you know. All right. Well, that sounds rough. Do continue. Jump Zero is a long way from home. What was it like? The grand gateway to humanity looks a lot better in the vids. Anyway, this was supposed to be a casual debrief, not a bull session about stuff that happened years ago. Hey, I like to know my crew. I'm interested. I wanted to get to know you a little better. That's all. Thanks for the talk, Caden. Well, you're welcome, ma'am. You, uh... 
make a habit of getting this personal with everyone? What do you think? No, no I don't. We'll talk again later. Oh, that was a little too I'll, flirty. Uh, I'll need some time to process that, Commander. But, yeah, I'd like that. Uh, in actuality, I do. I do make it a habit of learning everybody in my crew, so I don't know why I'm giving the old wink-wink nudge-nudge to him. But, uh, yeah, I think that's it. I'm gonna go commit one more chat to Joker, and then we'll pull the wall on this episode. Hey, I was expecting that to happen. Let me grab one, two. There we go. And one, two. What did I just get? Unity. Okay. Nice. Examine the monitor. Examine the monitor. Talk to Joker. Uh, I prefer gold to silver, you know, for my metal. I figured you'd recommend me for one since I uh, pulled your boots out of the fire. Now I'm here. You sure you want that? If we present you with a medal, you'll end up sitting on stage listening to politicians make speeches for a couple of hours. <laughs> That's a good point. They'd probably make me shave, too. I spent the last seven weeks working on this baby. No medal's worth that. So, Commander, why don't you tell me why you're really here? Ah, just ask me about the ship. What's going on? How's the Normandy performing? Is she everything they said she'd be? She's the best ship in the fleet. If you've got a pilot who knows how to handle her. Balance isn't what you'd expect. It takes a while to get used to that oversized drive core we got stuffed in the back, and her power can sneak up on you if you're not careful. The Normandy's probably too much ship for your average Alliance pilot, Commander. Lucky for you, I'm anything but average. <clears throat> Why so sensitive, Joker? Other than that, I just wanted to ask, see what's up with you, Joker. What you doing up here? I like to know my crew. Mind if I ask you a few questions? <laughs> I can see where this is going. You did a background check on me, didn't you? Well, I'll tell you the same thing I told the captain. You want me as your pilot. I'm not good. I'm not even great. I am the best damn helmsman in the Alliance fleet. Top of my class in flight school, I earned that. All those commendations in my file, I earned every single one. Those weren't given to me as charity for my disease. Uh, what disease? What are you talking about? Are you sick? You mean, you mean you didn't know? Oh, crap. Yeah. Okay, I've got Froelich syndrome, brittle bone disease. The bones in my legs never develop properly. They're basically hollow, too much force, and they'll shatter. Even with crutches and my leg braces, it's hard to get around. One wrong step and crack! It's very dramatic. But I've learned to manage my condition, Commander. Put the Normandy in my hands and I'll make her dance for you. Just don't ask me to get up and dance unless, you know, you like the sound of snapping shin bones. Well, interesting. Um, on easier questioning, how'd you get the name Joker? I'm gonna guess you were a real laugh in your classes? Why does everyone call you Joker? It's a lot shorter than saying Alliance Flight Lieutenant Jeff Moreau. Plus, I love to make little children laugh. Yeah, right. I was just thinking how much you remind me of Santa Claus. <laughs> Look, I didn't pick the name. One of the instructors in flight school used to bug me about never smiling. She started calling me Joker, and it stuck. Are you that unhappy in flight school? Why didn't you ever smile? Hey, I worked my ass off in flight school, Commander. The world's not gonna hand you anything if you go around grinning like an idiot. By the end of the year, I was the best pilot in the academy. Even better than the instructors, and everybody knew it. They'd all got their asses kicked by the sickly kid with the creaky little legs. One guess who was smiling at graduation. <laughs> Fair point, man. Fair point. Smile at the end, not during the beginning. All right, Joker, good talking. Glad to get to know some more about you. I hope everybody loves learning about you. You're like one of my favorite characters. I will talk to you later, sir. I have to go. All right, see ya. And with that, I'm gonna look at this real quick. <clears throat> with that, I think we're done on this episode. Quite another long episode. Maybe I'm just underestimating how long these episodes are gonna be in actuality, but uh, at least I cut out a good segment of it for the beginning of the next episode, like us talking to everybody and getting caught up to date keep it all relevant and stuff like that um so yeah other than that i'm gonna go ahead and call this up our lack i'm gonna call this the end of the episode this would be episode three and uh so far we got everybody on crew next episode we're gonna go to pharos or um the other planet i think i might go with benezia next episode 
It's Benezia or the Colonies, I believe. Yeah. Maybe I'll go to the Colonies. I'll play Hero for a little bit. But uh, other than that, let's go ahead and stretch out the old shoulders Shepherd style. My name is Roxas Quack, and I'm the regular gamer, of course. This is the beautiful, apparently sleepy, Commander Shepard herself. She's going to take a little nap real quick. Uh, if you guys can do me a favor and nuke that subscribe button, be very much appreciated. Other than that, come join us back next time. Hope you've been enjoying the videos. Hope you enjoy flying across the galaxy with quite the cast crew of characters. Um, yeah, catch y'all on the next one.